Hi, ladies. How are we doing? What's up? You're so beautiful. Oh, stop it. Carry on. I mean, <laughs> come on, goddess. Stop it, carry on. I mean, should we do questions or should we just talk about this? I mean, it's up to so you. <laughs> the concept of the film is wild. A pop star marries a stranger from the crowd of their show. Is there anything that's been wild for you when you're doing stand-up? Has anyone asked you anything wild? I mean, Gosh. all the time. Right? <laughs> exactly. I don't even know how to process. I always think like, because I can be kind of blue, like when people come up to me and they say really gross things or they're talking about really gross stuff and I'm like, oh, but I have to just be like, ah, cool. So I, right. I, but off stage, I'm not, I'm more, I don't know, I'm not as, when I'm on stage, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm just using words, you know? I don't have like a, but when people are come up, off stage come up to me and they talk about the same things, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's our Sasha Fierce. It's really an extension of ourselves, right? And so, yeah, yeah nobody really wants to talk about that stuff with someone they don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you don't want to embarrass them, so you're like, oh, cool, yeah. I know. <laughs> Generic answers. <laughs> um, in the movie, Kat tells Charlie to embrace the spontaneity of the moment. So what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done in your career? Ooh. <laughs> just on live television not following script and getting up and dancing at the end of everything I do just you know I'm a joyful person and I feel like a lot of people sort of stick to the script and live in this black and white but where the joy and enjoyment is is the shades of gray that you have to find for yourself so you know I don't I don't mind like you know this all this <laughs> You know, if you can still do it, do it. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Have fun. This is so fun for me and only me. Yeah. No, you're not alone. <laughs> How about you, Sarah? I remember one time I, um, for Christmas, I, um, I broke up with my boyfriend, flew to New York, spent Christmas by myself, went to a bat, went to a Knicks game. Nice. and had just like the most romantic whole day with myself. And I felt that like a grown up in a weird way, yeah. That is self love, if ever I've heard of it, for sure. You know, when I started making films, I made micro budget indies, you know, for a hundred thousand dollars. And uh, my second film I made in Italy when I was uh, seven months pregnant. I wrote the script based on Google Maps. We had three actors, three crew members, and we just dropped down in Naples and filmed a film in 11 days. And you know, there was a lot of prep, but it also felt very spontaneous and it was such an exciting way to make a film. And all of that seven months pregnant. Yes, and when I left, yes. I eight months. I mean, they say we can't do it, but hello, come on. Um, who was the celebrity that you loved when you were younger that you wish you held a, up a marry me sign for? Mine is just one person, Steve Martin. I loved him Ooh. growing up so much. Ooh. Ooh, it's a cross between Grace Jones, Lenny Kravitz, and Janet Jackson. Ooh. I can't pick. No, you can have them all. That's where we are now. It's 2020. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. I will have them all. Owen is somebody who, you know, from when I was in in high school, I always looked up to him and thought he was such an unusual movie star. And the fact that he was a writer and had a hand in the Wes Anderson films was always something that was so exciting to me. And I just love Owen. So when I, I started crafting the role of Charlie for Owen, and then he said yes, it was kind of like what you're asking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it will marry me. <laughs> Owen, will you do this movie? I want to ask two absolute comedy queens what it was like with working with the queen of rom-coms, J-Lo. It was a oh. master class. It was amazing. Because she's an athlete. She's a professional. She's a singer. She's this idol. But then she's also so dropped in and in the scene. And she feels all the things. It makes you feel the things. It's, it's so true. She's just such a pro. She's, it's incredible to watch someone so professional and so good at what she does. I mean, she's a beautiful actor. I mean, 
I've watched, I've probably seen every movie she's made. And it, I, I find, I find that she's as a big of a superstar as she is. I think she's an underrated actor and I think she's an underrated singer because she's, she really is quite brilliant at both. And um, to be lovely on top of it was pretty cool. It was such a joy. And, you know, Jennifer was attached from the beginning. The part was written for her. Um, one of the things when I came on is I wanted to create the role of Charlie for Owen Wilson. So I was so, so happy to have those two together because I think they just play off each other so well. Um, Maluma, this was his first big acting role. Um, you know, we wanted someone who could perform with J-Lo and feel authentic and also write songs for the film, which he did in a couple instances. Um, and the whole cast was just, it was a joy. It was a really joyous experience. When the trailer dropped, the internet went crazy. I think we can all agree. How did you deal with that reaction? I watched the trailer probably 10 <laughs> times when it came out. I was like, ooh, this looks good. I was excited. It, 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 um, it's one of those things where we filmed this in 2019. So we've had a whole pandemic life and so many things have happened, like even our election and then this virus, and so many things have happened. So it filled my soul and fed my soul in a way that I did not think possible. I cried um, because like I got to do this and share it and it hasn't been out for so long. And it also reminded me of like being on set and seeing people face to face and hugging each other and stuff and eating with each other. And so it just, I felt all the feels in a way that I was not prepared for. That's yeah, so I'm, nice. I'm glad they. I'm glad they saved it. I'm glad they hel held it because we yeah. need it right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so feel good. It's just yeah. perfect. And ladies, thank you so much for your time. And thank Michelle, feel it. free to send me any DMs of how beautiful I am. In yes, the <laughs> I will. I'll thank see you, you on internet. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> thank you.